Yo, what's up guys? I had to make this video real quick. I know in my last video I was talking about how next up we're going to be traveling to Thailand, Singapore, and China and working while traveling and all of that. We did all of that and it's gonna be in a video next. But before that, I wanna tell you guys something very important and that is we're launching Pair AI. My co-founder Nang is in the background coding right now and we have been working really hard for the past three months, day and night to get this to you guys. And we saw over the past week that there's a lot of AI coding editors that are trending. So we're like, dude, we can't miss this wave. We gotta launch right now. You know, sometimes you can't wait for the perfect moment. You just gotta do it. So in case you haven't been following over the past two videos and you don't know what I'm talking about, our product, which, you know, you really should go back and watch those videos, but our product is an open source AI code editor. And you're probably thinking, why do I need another editor? I'm using VS Code, I'm using this and that. You know, life is good, I don't wanna change. But don't worry, Pair AI is based off open source VS Code code base, which means you're gonna retain the functionalities, the habits, the familiarity that you have with VS Code. But you're gonna have the best AI integration into it as well, which means you're gonna be a 10X dev like me. He's Number saying, one in math competition. Yeah. Do you understand? He doesn't even speak English. He's number one in China math competitions. Dude. I grew up in California. But actually though, if you've been keeping up, you probably noticed that these AI tools are changing the landscape. And if you're not using them properly, you might get left behind by your coworkers or other students that do, because they're just gonna be coding faster than you. Now you might be thinking, wait, hold on a second. VS Code and AI, isn't that just GitHub Copilot? No, it's not GitHub Copilot, okay? It's it's so much better than GitHub Copilot. Do not insult Pair AI like that, okay? It's so much better than GitHub Copilot. Why? Well, I can list a bunch of reasons, but it's probably better if I just show you. But just to name one that is just very important off the bat is that we are using the best models on the market. Copilot is owned by GitHub, which is owned by Microsoft, which invests in OpenAI. So they're in bed with OpenAI, which means they have to use OpenAI's models. But OpenAI's models are not the best on the market right now. So you're not getting the best results out of it. But we, Pair AI, we are not in bed with anyone. As you can see, we're coding here all day, all night. Um, yeah, but that means we're not restricted to any company and we're gonna give you guys the best models possible and you can also switch and choose whichever one you want. All right, enough talking. Let me show you guys a demo right now. So in this demo, I show how to onboard onto a new code base and make a new feature while not knowing anything about the code base or the frameworks that come with it. And it's going to be super quick because I'm using Perry AI. All right, so we're gonna use the Perry AI landing page as an example. So in the documentation page right now, there's nothing, it's 404. And we're just gonna prompt it directly. I'm gonna say, I'm new to this Next.js code base. I wanna create a new documentation page. How can I do that? And we're gonna use code base context here because we want to have the knowledge of the best practices we're already using the code base and the other files and the context. So it's, it says to create a new directory in the app folder called documentation and make a file inside, inside called page.tsx. So we're gonna do that. And then it says to use this basic structure to start off with. And you see there, there's a button called apply and it just applies the code directly into the file. And then it says to create a new component into this components folder. So we're gonna go find it and create a new file called documentation.tsx. So this is gonna be the, the actual component. And we're just gonna prompt it directly by using command I, which is inline code generation. And we're gonna say to you know use that previous file, but also uh, create the actual UI for it by having some buttons on the left side and the text on the right side. And then it generates it. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this finish and press command shift enter to accept the changes. And let's go see. Okay, so it's there's nothing here. Uh, I, I've missed the actual component in the previous file. So I'm just gonna bring this to the chat panel again with command plus L and set to import it. And I'm gonna click apply here again and it knows exactly which line to change or to add or delete. And now I'm gonna save it and there we have it. Uh, you know, amazing, the basic structure, but it, it still doesn't look the best, right? Let's ask it to make this look better. And that's literally what I'm gonna ask and I'm gonna wait for this to finish generating. And again, I'm gonna click the, the apply button. We don't have to write a single line of code and uh, it's also going to show you the diffs, right? So you can, you know, really choose uh, what you want to keep and see the differences. I'm just gonna press Command Shift Enter to accept everything and save it here. And let's go back. There you go. Wow, this is so much better, right? So much better. And there we have it. We have a great foundation to start our documentation page without writing a single line of code, without having to know much about Next.js, React, or this code base. Amazing. 
All right, so now you watch the demo. What do you think? Come on, be honest. That is just one of the use cases and we have a bunch of other features. But hey, if you still don't believe me, you should just try the app yourself and download it because it's free. Well, not forever, but we have a free trial. And you can go try it out right now. Use it on your side projects or your work and whatever it is. And you'll see for just one day or two, you're going to be a 10x dev, okay? You're going to be this guy. Wait, then wave real quick. We have zero data retention policy, so you're safe to use this at work or at home for your projects, whatever it is, to make money, to get promotion for your resume. All of that is gonna help you with. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, Digital nomading traveling while working in Asia video is coming out next. Keep an eye out, it's an amazing video, you'll see. If you wanna know more technical details behind Pair you should join the streams and go check out Nang's channel. He's also gonna be posting about it and going more in depth. If you wanna contribute, you can do that too and put it on your resume and LinkedIn. But most importantly, just go download Pair right now, okay? Just come on, go try it out. And let me know how it is. I want your feedback, even if you think it sucks. You know, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate your life? Do you love me? Um, yeah. Like and subscribe. Nang, say goodbye. Nang? He's locked in, bro. He's, he's not gonna say goodbye. I'll say goodbye.